awaiting Ed's arrival, so I hope everybody has a little patience with uh, uh, how, how we move along here. But um, first off, I would like to have uh, Clark Sullivan from Hemp Evolution, which is one of the main sources of uh, coverage of the cannabis uh, community in California, give a little bit of background information about the case and why we're here. Clark? Ed Rosenthal was uh, arrested with Richard Watts and uh, uh, Ken Hayes Jr. Uh, for their involvement with the Sixth Street Harm Reduction Center uh, in February 2002. Ed was charged with uh, conspiracy, manufacture of, of marijuana, which is cultivation, and maintaining a, a place where marijuana is cultivated. He was convicted on those counts in 2003 by a jury. Um, who, uh, where he wasn't allowed to use the medical marijuana defense. Uh, Rick Watts was not tried along with these charges, and Ken Hayes Jr. is uh, currently uh, out of the country, so to speak. Um, so he won't be tried today at all. And none of his uh, counts will be uh, heard. Um, this uh, this press guy, well anyway, what happened with Ed's case was that he was sentenced to one day, and uh, uh, Eddie appealed the case to the Court of Appeals uh, on four different grounds. Uh, one of them being was uh, the fact of jury misconduct, which was ultimately why the uh, appeals court uh, threw out the trial. So uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office at this time has decided to uh, reindict Ed and, R and Rick Watts on a superseding indictment with 11 additional counts added. Uh, basically what they are is uh, tax evasion and money laundering, which was for an in insignificant amount of money, was uh, a little over $1,400. Um, there was a uh, grand jury hearing into bringing these charges up where two witnesses refused to testify or, uh, or cooperate with the federal government in any way. Um, today, uh, Rick is going to be filing a motion to uh, have his case dismissed on the basis that he was denied his writ of habeas corpus, which is the right to a speedy trial. Um, and we're all here to support Ed and uh, Rick and their trials here with the federal government. Um, we're asking that the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office dropped their charges against Ed and Rick and uh, release all medical cannabis prisoners who are currently in custody by the federal government and also uh, grant those and grant them a general amnesty for all the charges so they're dropped. Uh, thanks a lot for coming, everybody.